Hello, this is Bern. And if you've ever consciously or subconsciously asked the question, does love add or take away my freedom? Well, I'm gonna answer that for you on today's episode, so stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life tv.com, a space where I share with conscious, ambitious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams, attract the kind of man you want, and keep him without any manipulation or gimmicks or strategy and as a result of stepping into the most alive, most feminine version of you. Now, if you've ever subconsciously asked the question, does love take away my freedom or does love add to my freedom, I'm gonna give you my clear answer right now. Yes. <laughs> So what the hell do I mean? Well, when I say yes, is love can take away your freedom and love can add to your freedom depending upon your definition of love and how you do it. And even more importantly, depending upon what your definition of freedom is. I think freedom is something we're all searching for in different ways, but if your definition of freedom, for example, is I can do whatever I want with whomever I want, I don't have to basically share my thoughts or feelings with anyone, share my whereabouts with anyone, that's one definition of freedom, right? And it's not right or wrong, it's just one definition of freedom. Another definition of freedom is I want the freedom to feel seen, to feel heard, to be cherished, to be desired, to be loved, to express love in a deeper way than I ever have before. That's a different level of freedom, not better or worse. For some people it's better, for some people it's worse. Well, that again defines freedom, right, for you. So my thing for you right now is, the way you're defining freedom is determining whether you can experience freedom in love or not. However, there's a few more factors than just defining freedom. The first one is, how clear are you on what you want? And when I say clear, I mean specifically clear on the type of relationship you want, on the type of man you want, on the things that are absolutely essential for you to experience in a relationship, on the things that are showstoppers for you, all the things that you're looking for. That's what I'm talking about. Second thing that's as important that the type of relationship you want and the type of man you want is how able you are in being a resonant match to your deepest desires. Here's what I mean. If I come up with a long list of things I want in a car and then when the time comes to purchase it, I say, well, I have $100 to purchase it. Well, it doesn't matter. My list doesn't matter because I, I, I don't have the currency to be a resonant match to that which I desire in that moment. So if you have the clear list of the guy in your heart, but are not resonating with that level of openness, that level of clarity, your values are not where they need to be, your stepping into high value is not where it needs to be, you're not setting strong boundaries, then as much as you can clear what you want, you're not gonna get the level of freedom you want through love. Why? Because you're not being a resonant match. So that's the second one. Third one is, who do you choose as a man? Here's why it's important, because you can define freedom in a way that's expansive, right? You can be clear on what you want, you can be a resonant match to it, but if you choose a guy who's unable to deliver it, irrespective of having the first two, then you're not gonna get to that destination. So who you choose is as important as the first two. Uh, you can't just choose an awesome man without the first two being clear, because A, you don't know what awesome man is if you're not clear with it, and B, because the awesome man is not gonna choose you back if you're not stepping into your highest value. But once you have those two, then choosing the right guy is super important. Now, something I wanna clarify for you right now is, am I saying that if you step into the best type of relationship, most expensive, you choose the right guy, you're arrested and matched to it, that you'll never feel like it's taking away your freedom? Absolutely not. Sometimes you will feel like it's taking away your freedom. However, what I'm talking about right now is if you do an addition and subtraction, if you do multiplication and division, at the end you'll have either a positive result or a negative result. If what you're experiencing in love, respective of those times you don't feel the freedom, is overwhelmingly a sense of there's more freedom in my life, then you're on the right track. If what you experience in your relationship because he's not respecting you, because you're not respecting him, because you're not understanding each other, because you're not compatible, is a lack of freedom, then even though you have great moments, then that's your end result. So ultimately, you're looking not necessarily for just one of the two, you're looking for the general sense that what you're experiencing is more freedom than the alternative. Hope this makes sense to you, and if it does, I'm gonna ask you, my dear, to do three things. Thing number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Thing number two, sub subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you subscribe, then click on the little bell so you can get notified of new episodes as they come out. 
Third and most important of all, if you want to take these concepts deeper and go further than uh, I have in these few minutes, I have created a masterclass for you that allows you to understand what it takes to step into the best kind of relationship and make it last. All you have to do is click on the first link on the description of this video. You'll see a link that shows up where you can enter your name and email and then you'll start watching that masterclass right away. Now, if you're saying to me right now or thinking about this and saying, I love the videos, this is not the first one I watch of yours, this is the first one, but I, I resonate with what you're saying and I'm not looking for more videos, I want hand-holding, I want specific, practical, customized advice to me so that I don't have to take five extra years to get what I want unnecessarily, so that I have to go through extra pain that is no, not really needed in my life to get to the type of relationship that I want and to be the kind of woman who attracts the type of guy that I want, both, then there's another link on the description of this video that allows you to apply for a conversation with me to find out if we're a fit to work together. If you fill out that application and I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out and schedule a time for us to connect. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.